the one thing that really attracts women to men. Sharp Cam coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Boss Life Secrets, which can be found on Amazon.com. So, P.S. by the way, if, if uh, this is your first time being here and you like this video and you uh, maybe you've seen a previous videos, subscribe, like the video, share the video. There's a lot of people that need to hear my message, need to hear what I have to say. So help me help other people uh, make more of an impact and uh, change people's beliefs, their habits, so they can live a better quality of life. So they can live the boss life, which can be found on Amazon.com. So <clears throat> I got this email from a long time uh, listener. And I'm not going to read it all. I'm going to just paraphrase basically what he was trying to say. He said um, he's he has a job. He works around a lot of women. I can relate to that. And he says um, some of the women, uh, when he first started, some of the women didn't seem interested until he started to get interest or get play from another woman. And as soon as he went to lunch with this woman, the other women that didn't want to give him any play in the beginning, now all of a sudden they're interested. They're jealous, secretly jealous. So he wants to know, well, what's my take on that? This doesn't make to him that doesn't make any sense. Why would the same woman that didn't want to give me play in the beginning. Now all of a sudden that they seen me with other women. Now they want to. Now they want to talk. Now they seem interested. Now they seem attracted to me. He said it doesn't make any sense. And I agree. Now from a guy's point of view, logically speaking, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense at all from a guy's perspective. But from a woman's perspective, it makes total sense. <laughs> because a lot of women, um, not all, but a lot of them, they're not really interested in you until they see you with something that somebody else has. Maybe, or you getting attention from other women. So it, it becomes like a cat and mouse game for them. And women are very competitive amongst each other, too, as well. Even if you... There, there's women out here that make the mistake of telling their friends, even their sisters, sometimes about... They get a little bit too personal, and they start talking about stuff that happened in the bedroom. And this is why a lot of women, their friends, their girlfriends will go behind their back and smash the guy, smash their boyfriend or their husbands. Because that woman told her friends, she gave too much information. And she was so, na and a lot of these women were so naive to think that, oh, my friend, she will never do a thing like that. She will never stab me in the back and try to bone my man. It happens all the time, you know. Now, a wise woman would never would. I know a wise woman would keep her man far away from her friends, because she knows how trifling a lot of these women are <laughs> amongst each other. <laughs> now, the naive woman, the young girl, for the most part, is so naive she just doesn't know. She just don't, just really don't. Understand how a lot of women get down. A lot of women are trifling like that. They're conniving like that, they're, and they're very and they're com very competitive amongst each other. So, I, at, from but from a guy's perspective, this doesn't make any sense, you know. <clears throat> Be because it's kind of like if she wasn't interested in the beginning, what would make her become interested later on? I mean, you, I have to. She have to have to see me talking to somebody else or going to lunch with somebody else 
the, the, they have interest in me all of a sudden? Yeah. A lot of dances, yes. A lot of times, that's how it happens. You know, and that's that's just what it is, man. <laughs> really. Um, see, on the jobs, uh, it's kind of a sticky situation anyway, being on the job, man. Um, you kind of have to be careful. You might get fired. If things go left, if things go, if things don't go so well. You know, and and and, and um, if things don't go well, and you end up in HR in the HR office, they're not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Somebody got to go, and it's probably going to be you first. That's usually how it goes, you know, unless it's so obvious that. You didn't do anything wrong, or they got something on, got you, got something on camera, or something like that. But even still, then they would be, they would say, we need, we should depart ways because we don't want to be liable. So yeah, I, I, I've seen, I've seen it go down like that, you know. So this is why I say, hey, if you want your job, if you need your job, just keep your, your personal life. And your your business life separate. Don't mix your honey with your money. That's how my mom used to say it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, I I would say a good ninety over ninety percent of women, um, for the most part, I'd say a good ninety percent. If I had to guess, yeah, I don't know this for sure, but if I had to guess, I I would say over ninety percent of women would probably. Be interested in a guy if she found out that other women that other women were interested in the guy in the job environment. Especially if she knew those women. She would be more intrigued, more curious, more interested, more attractive. I would have, if I would have to guess, I would say probably 90%. And like I said, women are just competitive amongst each other like that. Um, and a lot of women are kind of like, um, you know, they're, they want what they can't have, you know, I mean, a lot of people are like that, but women are, women are very competitive like that amongst each other. You would think that, you, you would think that they, they wouldn't, you know, you would think that, you would think that guys are competitive, should be competitive like that amongst each other, but not when it comes to women. Not so much. Guys are competitive just by nature as a whole, but women are not competitive by nature. Women are competitive, you know, when it comes to certain things. And a man just happened to be one area. Because, <laughs> see, the average woman, they don't like each other anyway. They just tolerate each other. They put up with each other. So, just, so you see women smiling and talking and chit-chatting all the time. That doesn't mean anything. If a man steps in the room, if a man comes in between them, they'll stab each other in the back for that guy. I've seen it happen. You know, a woman can be, can be cool, calm, collective. They're having a conversation, guy, 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 laughing and shucking and jiving. And the next hour or two, stab, she's stabbing her in the back. Because, you know, uh, that's, a, that's that cutthroat mentality. That's what it really is, you know. But a lot of women are like that. You know, that's it, just, it is what it is, you know. So, hey, that, that's pretty much all I got to say about this topic, you know. So, hey, um, sometimes you can use this to your advantage. But just be careful how you go about doing it. That's all I got to say. So, hey, if you like this video, share this video. Subscribe. Click the little bell below. That way, when I come online or up, no, upload new content, you won't miss out. And uh, if you want any more um, ideas and concepts pertaining to this video, just go check out my book, Boss Life Secrets or Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So, until next time, I'm out. Peace!